Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. It's not an ordinary uh, tutorial today. I will show you how to use the topo surface, but it's not will be only la one lesson. I think I will make the uh, series of this lesson like five lesson about topo surface. So let's call it like ultimate urban super topo surface tutorial. We will start from the scratch and the, from the basic things. So let's start. So as I said, we will start from some basic things. The first thing, uh, where is the located top surface? You can find it on the ribbon menu here, the messing inside, and you will find it here, like three some points uh, activated now. So uh, main thing and the most of the use uh, architects, uh, it's top surface. And I think this enough to talking, I should show you what is that. Uh, but before we will choose the top surface, let's uh, change our view to the side view. Why I change to the side view? Side view don't have any section. Uh, I mean, uh, any height objects, any selection and range view. They showing class to us everything what we have on the side. So it's really better to understand and uh, not be worried about where is my side. So just go to the side view. Uh, let's go a little bit close up and now we will choose the top surface after that you can see the uh, other um, tools and we will start from the place and point and uh, we will move to the create and the simple face I will show you everything and how it's work so place and point as you understand from the um, uh, name of this tool uh, you just need the place your point and you can do your surface like this so you, you cannot uh, you cannot clearly see what's going on now i will change the view to the constant colors and we can see what's going on so uh what the settings have the place and point the first thing they have elevation so i can make the like elevation maybe 10 meter from the uh, our zero surface our c level so as you see i make the uh, 10 a meter this point and 10 meter here let's do like around 10 meters and maybe i will do 15 here like this so if i will select one of them uh, let's say i'll try to select that for example this one we can see our elevation level like 15 meters and i will select that one here the zero of course we can change it for example i will select this one and i will change it to 12 meters for example and i'll say okay so you not understand now anything because we have only lines and like uh, nico what's going on so let's go in 3d and we will check what's going on uh, and as you see we get uh, some really strange thing uh, it's really it looks like cup uh, let's change uh, the this one that points i just select all the all of these points and I'll change it like 20 meters maybe. Let's make 20 meters. And now it looks like mount. Why not? So let's go back to the side. I will put some more points. I want more points on the zero level. And I'll do it like around. So something like this. Why not? Just to show you how everything works. So we will go to 3D and as you see we get our site. Why not? So and now we will uh, check the other tools. This is create from import. Uh, for example, you can import from uh, DWG or you can import from the other files. Uh, out, I mean uh, CAD files. So but I will use the SketchUp. Most of you sometimes doing so not only site and SketchUp or doing the uh, buildings and SketchUp and everything else. So for example, you have the site and SketchUp like this one. You, you can see this is not flat. And let's say uh, imports just select this object, go to the file, 3D export, only 3D export and export it uh, uh, as DWG. I will just resave it. Yes, you want to change it. Yes, why not? And let's go back to the our Revit file. And now I will uh, choose the other tool, create from the import, and I will choose the uh, select import instance. Revit asking me about the elements. 
oh that yeah i don't have any elements now inside it's okay we will go to the insert after that import the cat this my folder puff and i will choose that one and i'll say okay just few seconds Yes, this is my, uh, a, a really, actually, this is really huge one. So that mean I will uh, move it, my, this side to that, to that side. Okay, so what's going on now? Again, create import, select import instance and select your new, mm, new DWG surface. So now we should understand uh, which layer we should to use. I will go to the SketchUp and I'll check layer 0, right? So, okay, I need to use the layer, layer 0. I'll just switch off the terrain and snapshot and I'll say okay. Just give the let's say a few seconds and as you see, we get our side. If I will say okay, I will hide this object. And as you see, we get really cool side. You just spent few seconds to get it. So this is what about the import uh, imports uh, information from the other programs. Let's go. Uh, let's continue that. Now I'll be back to our model. Just I'll select them and edit surface. You can always edit your surface. And we will check the last thing. This is surface simplify. As you understand already from the name, maybe we can simplify our mm, surface yeah sorry guys <laughs> i just read it what they are right so let's choose this tool and now the revit asking us uh, about the accuracy i'll use the like 1200 meter why not let's say okay and as you see we just uh, the revit just uh, cut like half or more the dots so if you have the big surface big topo surface it's really helpful because you don't need all these uh, dots in this side and as i said i already introduced you half the tools about topography but now we will go back to the our mm, uh, to the, our ribbon menu we already apply changes and we will check the global settings so global settings it's not the local one it will be uh, applied for all your project not all of your projects i mean only your project this one project so let's go and find with this global um, parameters just again the ribbon menu missing inside and this small button side settings let's click on that and let's check what we have here we will start from the top so what we have the here of course we can switch off the some lines for example if i will switch off this uh, this setting some of the lines gone if i will switch on this is back here we can change also interval of that line for example we will change to the 1000 you will see this line now and of course you can increase it or disincrease it as you want so i will go to close up a bit and we will check like this now so this is better now and i will go back to the um, global settings and we will go for example uh, to that side so uh, as you understand the start it's uh, from uh, which level will start uh, showing to us these lines for example maybe it will start from the five meter why not and as you see this lines gone but we will choose the zero and the increment it's very interesting uh, setting uh, because uh, this is means about our line so for example i want a line uh, each 500 millimeters why not so we get it maybe it's five meter why not and you can change it you get a bit uh, smooth uh, look surface but we will live on the 2000 i think it's no we, we, we are right guys we will live on the 1000 also in revit you can change the range the type so we can change it to the single value as you see we get only the uh, main one main one this is that one five meter so this is each five meter so we can understand it but we will leave the multiplier multiply it means the subcategory plus the range type so we can see the five meter and 
and one meter. I will change to this view if you will see because it's sometimes not work correctly. I will change to the ah you can see now. Sorry, it's a really bad scale, but you can see the this is the main, this is the range, and this is the sub line. And if I will go back, you will understand it. So I will change to the single. You can see only single now. And I will change the multiply. You can see on the multiply, I mean the uh, single and subcategory. So let's go uh, here. The here, this is our uh, cut material. So it means uh, we can change to any material this surface. Let's gonna change to F. Uh, maybe I wanna change it. I don't know. Maybe to grass. Why not? Let's find the grass. It's here. I will use this one, why not? And I'll say OK. Apply. We cannot see anything. Oh, because I didn't apply. Sorry. Yes, it is. I apply, but I didn't change the type of view because I guess should change to realistic. And you can see we change it and now we have the grass. So I'll change back to the shaded one and I'll go to the back uh, to my um, global settings. So the elevation of porch base, you cannot see any uh, value, I mean the any height of the our uh, site because we should cut it. So let's create the, uh, let's go to the site, let's go to the view and I'll create one section view. Let's make this section from, he from here to here and I'll make it not so big like this. And let's go go to the view. I will hide my DW object because I no need it. And as you see here, also we cannot see anything shaded one. Now we can see the. This is our value. This is three meter. Actually, we can see here more clearly. I will show you here. Uh, let's go again back to the messing uh, global settings. And now it's only three meter. Let's make it ten. Why not? 10 meters and apply. As you see, now it's 10 meters. I'll show you from the zero and here approximately 10 meters. Yeah, because I, I, I cannot snap it. So uh, that means you can, if your site uh, so uh, curly, you can change here the elevation. You can even make like one meter, why not? Like one meter, done. And you will get some something like that. So I told you about the basic things already, everything you can already create your own site, you can load it from the SketchUp or mm, AfterCut, who knows, maybe you wanna upload it from the other software, why not? Uh, anyway, we will continue talking about the topo surface soon, I will make like uh, advanced topo surface tools and I will show you more complicated things in Revit, how you can create, uh, how you can do it. Anyway, guys, if you still watching me, thank you, thank you very much. And just one thing, guys, go to the link below and you will go to the Patreon. My Patreon program is starting. Doesn't mean, it doesn't mean, guys, like I'm stop uh, sharing with you files for free. No, this, this is just only support. I will share with you here the just all the files, but I will still share with you for free the some projects. Anyway, this I not will stop never because I know I was the student. I know and don't have the money and you want support, but you cannot. So don't worry about that. Uh, if you will support me in Patreon, I will be happy. If you will not, I will try to be happy, but I will still continue work with you and share with my knowledge with you guys. Anyway, the one thing more uh, here, uh, if you will um, start uh, support me, uh, you will able to the, go to Discord. Anyway, if you don't have the Patreon, or you also the, can go to the uh, to the Discord. And here it's like a chat. You can uh, leave your own message. You can send me files. You can speak with me by voice chat. So this is a really cool thing. You can share with me your ideas. We can speak uh, more close, and maybe we can uh, talk about even your project. Who knows? Mm, so if you want you can join me in this discord or if not it's okay anyway guys thank you again thank you for watching and i hope uh, 
everything will be cool. And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.